It's time to get out the old garden calendar for 2021 and see what's what. I try to shoot my videos outside as much as possible, but that's not happening right now. I'll have to throw in some older footage just to spice things up a bit. And I can also do it this way. With a little luck, our new garden will look roughly like this in a few months. We'll be growing tomatoes, peppers, kale, cabbage, onions, carrots, broccoli, basil, Swiss chard, amaranth, beans, lettuce, leeks, eggplant, and zucchini. And I'm sure we'll find room to squeeze in some cucumbers and maybe a sweet melon. Stay tuned and I'll show you our planting schedule in just a moment, or you can skip ahead using the timestamps below. After having some issues with the soil mixture in our raised beds for the last two years, we are eager to start growing in our native soil again, and this time, hugelkultur style. We also have the beginnings of a food forest now, and you can bet we'll be putting a lot more time and care into that this year. I'm happy to say I've been able to invest a little bit more money into the garden budget for 2021, and I'm hoping that will translate into a boost in our success rate. First, we're upgrading our germination station yet again with some new shelves, pulleys for the lights, one new proper grow light fixture, and some mylar film all around. I'll have more details about this new setup in an upcoming video. Next, I'm finally going to get around to making some cold frames so we can extend our growing season. I already picked up a pair of old windows for cheap and I just need to get some lumber. And of course, there'll be a video on that too. And lastly, we're going to start using row covers this year. We get quite a bit of pest pressure here in the spring and summer along with the erratic temperature changes and frequent rains. Yep, you guessed it, that'll be another future video. So with all of that new equipment, this is looking to be a pretty promising year. Now for all of you new gardeners out there who are wondering when to start planting, here's our schedule for 2021. Keep in mind that you don't need to follow these exact dates. These are all based on our average last frost date of April 27th and then working backward from that. You'll find that there is a bit of variation in planting schedule from one gardener to the next. It's all about finding what works best for you in your area with your growing conditions and it may take a few years to get the hang of that. This is what we found works well for us based on the last few years growing veggies and I'm sure some of these dates could even be pushed back a bit earlier since we'll have row covers now. But anyway, let's get to the schedule. The first seeds we're planting are broccoli, cabbage, and kale, 12 weeks before the last frost, or BLF for short. We just planted these one week before this video was published and they'll be transplanted outside under cover after six weeks growing indoors. At 10 weeks BLF, we'll plant onions, leeks, and hot peppers. The onions and leeks will go outside under cover after six weeks of growth, but the peppers will have to wait until about two weeks after the last frost before transplanting. At seven weeks BLF, we'll start lettuce, sweet peppers, and Swiss chard. Again, the peppers will have to stay inside for about nine weeks, but lettuce and chard like the cooler weather, so they can go outside under cover just three weeks after germinating, which will still be four weeks before the last frost. At six weeks BLF, we can start tomatoes and basil. Just like the peppers, these can go outside two to three weeks after the last frost. They really don't like temperatures below 50 degrees Fahrenheit for too long, so we have to wait until at least mid-May to transplant them. At four weeks, we'll sow spinach and carrots directly outside. Again, the row covers may allow us to start some of these two weeks earlier. At two weeks before the last frost, we'll sow bok choy outside. And finally, once we're absolutely sure there won't be any more dips below freezing, we can sow seeds for all of our beans, cucumbers, zucchini, and melons. These plants generally do not like to be transplanted, so it's best to start them directly in the garden soil. So that's the basic schedule for our kitchen veggies, and we have a lot more native wildflowers and other fun things that we'll be adding to the food forest as well. I'll make a separate video about that so we can get more in-depth about stratifying or chilling seeds to get them to germinate. If you have any questions about anything I mentioned here, please let me know in the comments below. I have a lot more content on the way for the rest of this year, so please check back to see what's happening, or consider subscribing so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again real soon.